So in this video, I'm going to quickly explain the impedance matching volume control that you see on your screen right now. Let's get started. So a lot of times the uh, impedance matching volume control comes with this decor trim plate. Just flick that off right there. And it's actually sitting inside of a pretty standard um, PVC electrical box. And let's take it out of that box and set it on its side so you can see how much room the volume control takes up inside that box. That's a substantial amount right there. So with this particular impedance matching volume control, You've got two wiring connection points. Right in the center of your screen, you'll see the four tiny silver circles. This is where your speaker input wiring will come. And you can use typically up to a 14 gauge uh, four conductor speaker wire from your amplifier. Now, if we rotate this around, then you would have to also make an additional four conductor connector to the output and this would go to a pair of 8 ohm speakers or if you're really comfortable with ohms and that you could go with a lesser ohm speaker but typically an impedance matching volume control is going to be connected with 8 ohm speakers. So before you're using a device like this you want to make sure that it's stable to 8 ohms and you want to make sure that your amplifier is stable for this type of volume control and that your amplifier is stable to 8 ohms and that your speakers are 8 ohm speakers because if you don't do that then you risk losing your equipment. Now the other thing I want to point out about this particular impedance matching volume control is if you look at the bottom of the device you might notice what are considered as jumpers and these jumper settings will have to be configured by you during your installation based upon how many speakers you have in the total setup. So for example, if you're putting a pair of speakers out on your back porch or backyard, that would be considered one pair. And then if you put a pair in another, maybe a bedroom of your house, and then maybe a pair in your garage, well that would be three pairs. So you'll have to adjust these jumper settings in accordance with that, otherwise uh, the impedance matching volume control isn't going to be able to perform the function it's designed to do. Now granted this is an old uh, impedance matching volume control that just probably doesn't even work anymore, but this is what they look like and if you're going to do this in a new construction scenario you might want to cut the back of this box off because uh, if you're using a 14 gauge wire, that's a pretty large wire. You can use a 16 and in small applications you could use a smaller 18 gauge wire. But there's not a lot of volume available inside that box. That's why we look at uh, cutting the back off. And as a matter of fact, before you do this, check with your local building officials to make sure that uh, the way that they inspect and so forth is in accordance with what you plan to do. There are other boxes you can use. They're, they're, they're often uh, orange or green in color. They have no backs on them like this box does. They're more of a structured wiring box and they allow for any excess wiring, which you're going to have when you're pre-wiring a house, to stick out the back so there's no force. So if you're using this box, um, pay attention because there's not a lot of space and you're going to have to shove it in there and you're going to realize maybe that wasn't the best thing to do. Hey listen, we appreciate you watching the video. Uh, before you leave, please subscribe to our channel. The button's right on your screen at the top right. If you know anybody who's building a house or might have interest in uh, this type of informational video, please share a link with them. And by all means, visit our website. We've got hundreds of articles on all kinds of stuff for your house and your electronics there. Hey, look, we appreciate you stopping by and have a great day.